What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So for about a month now, maybe two months now, so I've been talking about getting a new gun and I've been talking about getting myself a revolver. So today, I finally broke down over at Central Connecticut Arms on this Sunday today, and I picked up a gun that I've been watching for a very long time. So I figured I'd give you a quick little initial impressions about unboxing, there's no box that came with it, do a little unboxing video for you just uh, before I uh, take it out shoot next week. So let's get into it. I've been going back and forth between getting myself a 3 inch 44 Magnum or a uh, 357 Magnum 4 inch 357 Magnum, which sounds a little backwards when people think about it, but for me it was more of a trail game, trail type of gun or fishing gun or something like that, but I was determined to get myself a Magnum because I want the extra punch and I want the extra pop, you know, power behind it when I'm out there in bear country because bears are starting to wake up out here and I have come across them when I'm out there. So there's a couple guns I've been staring at, and one, this is these are used guns, and this one's came in, I've been staring at it for about a month, uh, I had a two in mind, it was either going to be a Dan Wesson or this one, so I'm going to pull it out real quick. So the revolver I chose is a beautiful 686-6, that's the uh, 686 plus, alright, so this is the 7 round 357 Magnum, so got 7 beautiful cylinder holes there. So this is a 357 Magnum 4-inch that I picked up. Now, I've been eyeing this. I've been eyeing this because there's a couple of reasons I really liked it. And I didn't realize what came with it when I first got it. But one, I really like these target grips. All right, these are like target grips. Actually, if you take a look, they are Smith & Weston grips. All right, give you guys a little close-up for your little gun porn. I know people love looking at it. These are absolute beautiful guns. I think when it comes to uh, revolvers, Smith & Weston honestly makes some of the best revolvers out in the market. And they're very beautiful beautiful guns all right so look at that guys this is stainless steel very beautiful very looking now i preferred blue but this is just a beautiful gun in general fully adjustable sights has the uh elevation and it has a windage you can adjust that onto it now it also has a the red or kind of orangish red uh front dot you know the front sight there and uh one thing that i noticed about this is the action on this is very smooth compared to the standard 686s that we have in the shop. So I did a little bit of research, and this just so happens it is one of the performance models. This is one of the performance model 686s. So I mean, look at this, look at this double action. I'm barely pulling that. I am barely, that is like one by far one of the best double actions I've ever felt. It is just so smooth, even the single action is just very, very, very smooth. So this is a performance model 686-6 plus in four inch beautiful beautiful gun now this didn't actually come with a box so i can't do an unboxing <laughs> can't do an unboxing when it doesn't come with a box this was a used gun but it's actually in very good condition i've been looking at it there's no cracks there's no nothing the timing is completely set um, we're looking for a new revolver a couple things you want to look for is you want to look at the frame you want to look at the actual cone which is up in here you want to make sure there's no cracks on it you want to check everything out just make sure it works and you want to make sure the timing set up and that is just look where the cylinder is lining up you check the top the timing and this is in tip top shape i mean a barely even shot type of shape so a couple things that this gun came with so i didn't realize it but it comes with this galco right? the galco leather outside the waistband holster now, uh, I'm not a big fan of the thumb brake holsters and this type of outside the waistband holster, but this is a good quality holster, all right? So this is definitely, by far, this is a very good quality holster. Galco makes some of the best leather. This is very reinforced, so it won't open or close if it's on you. I'm in the process of finding and ordering a inside the waistband for this because, yes, I intend on carrying this gun in concealed, all right? So I intend on doing this on the process of looking for an inside the waistband holster. It also came with... Da, 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 two speed loaders. That's right, it came with two speed loaders. And it also came with the standard grip. This is the box it came with, fancy box. That's why I can't do an unboxing. It came with the uh, the standard grips. These are like the hoe grips that actually came with, so you can switch it out. But I'm really digging these brown, these brown grip, these wooden grips. I mean, just look at these grips. The wood is really pretty on it. I like how that's exposed a little bit. It's a good feeling gun. I mean, it's just a good feeling gun. So here it is, guys. This is my new gun. So my next step, this is Sunday night. So the next step what I'm going to do is even in, in the quality of condition, this was now what I got. Now this is the part that's going to blow your minds. 
I got this for about 640 some odd dollars. All right, I got about this about $647. This is the performance model. This isn't the standard model. The standard is about that price. This is the performance model, but looking at this on the inside, I mean, it is flawless. All right, it looks like they rarely shot that, if they even shot it. Maybe shot a couple rounds through it, and that's about it. Even looking at the barrel the best you can, the barrel is just shiny. All right, it's just shiny. Everything about this is just such a good quality gun. So you're getting a good, solid, almost brand new performance model Smith & Wesson, which is like a $900 plus dollar gun. Um, I'm getting that for about $640 some odd dollars, all right? So that was a smoking deal for a used gun. There's a lot of used guns that come out there. But anyway, so it's Sunday night, so what I'm gonna do tonight is the same thing I do with every, whenever I get a brand new gun, all right? Same thing I do whenever I get a brand new gun, and that is I'm gonna CLP the hell out of this thing, all right? From the top to bottom, I'm gonna CLP the hell out of this thing. Gonna punch every single cylinder just like it's a barrel. I'm gonna take the eyelets through it, make sure it's fully clean. Then we're gonna get down, make sure everything's lubed up, and I'm going to load it back up and put it away. So there you have it, guys. This is my new gun. Um, I expect to see a shooting video coming up next week. So I'll be able to take this out probably on Sunday and go shooting. But before I go, I know you, some of you guys out there love this revolver. So let's give you a nice, beautiful little close-up. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful revolver. All right. I love these Smiths. Uh, there's just something about Smith, the way how they look and everything else. These are just great, great guns. And these wood grips, I mean, they just, they, 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 they don't give it justice. It's just such a beautiful gun. Beautiful gun. So there you have it, guys. This is my newest gun. I expect to see a video coming out with it next week. If you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.